Hello Laravel friends, I've got some really cool updates to share with you today from the Laravel release 12.10. We've got conditional fluent methods and some really nice collection mapping enhancements. Let's go. First up, we have the addition of the conditional trait to fluent objects. This is super helpful because now you can add conditional logic directly in your fluent change without breaking the flow or making your code look messy. Thank you, Michael. And then the as collection method can now map items more efficiently. This is really cool. Check this out. In this application, we have products and every product has two different fields. One is options and the other one is colors. And we have them defined here as a JSON field here. And this will store an array of specific options and colors for every product. And now inside this test, I want to make sure that we can cast colors and option. So inside our product model here, we can define some cast and by default, we have already set this to array. So options um, should be returned as an array and colors too. Let's give this a try. So I'm getting here product by creating a new one and then we're just dumping out here product. Let's try to get the colors. And if we run this, we can see we get here back an array of different colors here with some random names and hex codes. Okay, so this is working. But there is much more we can do with casting. So we can also cast this as a collection. Maybe let's start here with the options one. As collection, we provide here the as collection class. Let's go back to our test here. And now here, we're doing the same. On the product, we are calling the option. Let's run this. And we can see we get back now a collection instance and the items here are um, in this case, it's just one array with one option, which is called with a name featured and the value featured. So we can, uh, can get back the, the JSON data from the database as an array or also as a collection. So we can already work with it like we often do in Laravel because yeah, collections are so useful. But let's go back here. We now have something new that we can do. We can say we want to create a collection of a specific class. So I have here an option class that I want to use. And let's take a look at this here. So this option class needs to implement the rateable and the JSON serable interfaces. And with that, we also have to define the two array and the JSON serialize method here in this class, which we do in the constructor, we get um, some data and then we get the name and the value from it. And then we have this method to array to create an array and and then the serialized method, we also provide an array. All right, so let's give this a try. Let's go back to our test here. Let's run this and voila, you can see we now get back a collection. And in this collection, we have one item, which is of the option class. And we also see those public fields here for name and value, which is pretty cool because often you don't want to get just back an array or a collection of an array from the database because often you use some kind of data transfer object and then you want to get a collection of those instances which we get here. By the way, we can also test this very handy. Assert contains mm, only instances of, and in this case, it's our option class. Let's give this a try. I think the first one should be product options, and the second one is the class. Is this right? Class name and haystack. Okay, we got this wrong. Let's switch this over here. Let's give this a try. And this is passing perfect. So everything we get back for um, this option here is an instance of this option class, which is super useful. But let's see, let's also try this now for our colors here. So here we also have colors class, which we want to use and here we want to have access to, here we want to receive the colors and test it. So let's try to run this. And now this is not working. Let's see what's happening here. Yeah, first we also have in the model to define this also. And use here as collection of, and then let's use our color class here. All right, let's try it again. And this is fading here. 
So argument one number one must be of type string, but array give. Okay, what's happening here? Let's take a look at this color class. So this is typically how I would write a, trans a data transfer object where inside the constructor would provide already the name or the hex code and would define this already those public fields here of this class and then still have this from array and to array and JSON serialized method. Hmm, but this is now not working anymore because for this to work with this new casting feature here, the constructor needs to get the data of the color, which is not working because this is something that we provide here inside our from array method. Okay, what can we do about this? Let's go back here. We can instead now provide an array. And as the second argument, I'm going to use the from array method name. Okay, let's give this now a try and you can see this is now also passing. So whenever you want to cast a specific array to specific classes, to specific instances, you can use the new of method on the as collection um, cast here. And if it is already passing data to the constructor, then you can just use it like this. And if you want to or need to use a specific method from your class, then you can use it like this as well. So make sure to check this out as collection of. Thank you, Italo. I want to give a huge shout out to all the amazing contributors out there who made these improvements possible. The Lava community continues to be one of the best ones out there and the most supportive one. If you found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button to stay updated with all the latest Lava features. And hey, if you're using one of these new features, please let me know about it in the comments below. See you the next time. Bye.